Hi, this is the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, on a global platform. Who do I have in the studio with me today? My name is Leah Howard with the National Psoriasis Foundation. Mark Lebwell, I'm Chairman of Dermatology at Mount Sinai in New York. And I'm Melissa Lilu, a patient advocate. All right, then. Boy, you brought company. All right, I love it when I have a group today. Well, we're going to talk a little bit uh, about being a patient advocate, and you guys are going to explain us how to break through the barriers. If I could start with you, Dr. Lebowski, if I'm saying that correct, hopefully. Lebwell, that's fine. Lebwell, I'm so sorry. Let's start with you. What's the medical challenges we're facing here? Well, you know, we have terrific treatments for psoriasis uh, that allow us to clear almost anyone, and a patient will come with very bad psoriasis. We write a prescription for the medicine that we think they ought to get, uh, and then the insurance company rejects the prescription. Uh, they either say they won't pay for it, or the patient has to fail one or two other treatments which we know aren't as good for that patient uh, before they'll allow the patient to get to the medicine we want them to use. Okay, and can I speak to, I'm sorry, the patient advocate? Who's that? Yes, that's me, Melissa. Hey, Melissa, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, oh. Melissa. Um, you know, I've been living with severe psoriasis for over 20 years, and I can speak at great lengths to the physical burdens and pains of living with a chronic illness, but this is really only exacerbated by misunderstandings with my health insurance company. I personally have been rejected on numerous occasions for medications that I desperately needed. Um, you know, one time I was told I didn't qualify in terms of severity of disease, which was completely untrue because the symptoms of psoriasis really permeated all aspects of my daily life. It took me about a year um, to get the medication, and it was a real collaborative effort with myself, my dermatologist, and his staff of employees. So it was a long and arduous process filled with rejection and a lot of disappointment, to be honest. All right. I've got one more person there I'd like to hear from. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. Sure. Leah Howard. Yeah, Leah. Okay, what do you do and how do you play into this? Sure. So the National Psoriasis Foundation works closely with patients and physicians to provide them resources to help them to um, address these challenges and get the patient on the most appropriate therapy. We've got uh, appeals letters when you've been denied access to a medication that patients and physicians can use. We also, though, work in a collaborative way at the state level on legislation to address step therapy and the challenges of out-of-pocket costs as well. Uh, we work with other patient groups and provider groups to help get the message out about what these barriers are doing to patient health outcomes um, and to encourage uh, practices that will make it easier for physicians to get the patient on the therapy that they know is most appropriate for their patient. Do you work on like a more of a national and a state level rather than an individual level? At my doctor's office, there's a social worker. Sure. And she guided me through caring for my 99-year-old uh, aunt. She told me where to go, what to do. So what level do you work on? So we do both, actually. The NPF works closely with uh, physicians like Dr. Lebwall and, and shares resources with him and his staff. Uh, that they can use to appeal denials. But we do work at the state level. We've got legislation that we've introduced in a number of states. Um, and then actually we, we work at the national level as well, pushing legislation in Congress. Um, all of that is done with other patient advocacy and provider groups because we know that the psoriasis community is not the only one impacted by these frustrating challenges. And so we work uh, very closely with our, our friends uh, in other chronic disease communities to uh, partner on these, these efforts. Dr. Lebois, when you pres pre prescribe a drug for a patient or a therapy for a patient and they have to go through these hoops in a sense, what does that do to you as, as a person, not just as a doctor? How do you feel about that if you know that person can't get what they need? Well, I, I will say it's frustrating, but we've gotten used to it. Uh, we have a full-time person in my office who works on what is called prior authorizations. We get approval from the insurance company before we uh, prescribe a medication for a patient. Uh, and that's a full-time uh, medical assistant who does that. Um, uh, it is frustrating, but part of being a good doctor in uh, the year 2015 is going to bat for your patient and fighting with insurance companies to get them the treatment that they need. Leah, according to uh, what I'm reading, this, all of this information comes from a survey or is captured in the survey? 
the National Psoriasis Foundation annually surveys patients to understand what the challenges are that they're facing. And we know that for many patients, these access barriers we've described today are the main reason that they are not on whatever therapy is most appropriate for them. As Dr. Lebel mentioned, in many ways, there's no better time in the history of this disease to be diagnosed with psoriasis, and yet um, many patients are not treating to the standards that uh, the American Academy of Dermatology recommends. So we want to work with patients. We want to get your story out. We've created a website, www.steptherapyinfo.com, where you can sign up, tell us your story, and learn more about the legislation that we're pushing. I've got to wrap up. I would like to end with Dr. Uh, Liebel. Mm -hmm. Doctor, if you can give us a recommendation, uh, as a, just as a medical professional, people have all kinds of, someone told me recently that everybody's living with something. So if you're living with something, a chronic disease, well, give me a recommendation to leave my uh, listening audience with hope. Yeah, we have spectacular treatments for patients uh, and don't let bureaucracy get in the way of you not getting the treatment that is best for you. Dr. Lewal, Melissa, and Leah, I want to thank you so very much for being such forces in this problem because I can tell you many people identify with what they've heard today. And Melissa, I'm sorry I didn't get a, get a little more information from you, but thank you so much. You told your story beautifully. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you all. Thanks.